So if there's one place I would like to visit in my lifetime, it would be this mosque. So this structure was built closer to our time period in the 19th century. So it would not typically be discussed in Art History 1. It'd probably be saved for Art History 2. However, it's so beautiful that I couldn't help but talk about it. The Nasir al mulk Mosque is also known as the Pink Mosque, or by its many other names such as the Mosque of Colors or the Rainbow Mosque. It was built in Shiraz, Iran, on the orders of Mirza Hassab Ali Nasir al mulk So say that five times. <laughs> and he was a member of the Qajar dynasty, which ruled Persia, Iran, from the 1700s to 1925. So the mosque began being built in 1876 and was completed in 1888. And the layout is very traditional for Islamic and Persian architecture. So there are two prayer halls that face one another across the courtyard and are joined by a vaulted hall. The courtyard also has a rectangular pool, which both cools the area around it and symbolizes perfection and purity. So looking at the external decoration, the mosque is adorned with beautiful tiles. They are intricately patterned pink, yellow, and blue ceramic tiles, but they only give us a hint of the beauty that will be found inside. And if you watched my other video, I talked briefly about Islamic tiles. The tiles are made using intricate geometric patterns that are typically formed from intersecting circles and squares with multiple overlays, building the pattern up. So the pattern slowly becomes more elaborate by overlaying circles on top of each other, or rectangles or squares, and here's an example of that. And Islamic tiles are closely linked to math mathematical approaches in art making. So now let's take a look at the inside. So apparently there's a very heavenly feeling when one walks inside. The interior is a place filled with jewel-like light and color. So how do they create this effect? Well, the morning sun hits the stained glass and creates a kaleidoscope effect. Not only does it hit the stained glass, but it hits the colored walls and ceilings. If you take a look at the ceiling, it's created using geometric patterns. The walls are also created using geometric patterns. This all plays against the light and creates a kaleidoscope effect. The colors spill into the inner walls, which are covered from floor to ceiling in tiled stucco and painted designs. The light illuminates these designs, but it doesn't overpower them. So again, let's look up at the ceiling. We see geometric patterns and shapes that are very typical for any Islamic structure. The colors that are used here are blues, pinks, and yellows. This color combination is very visually and it creates this effect of mystical light and beauty.